Hey guys, we're going to be setting up Nginx in this video. It's really easy and it's nice because instead of having our Express server open up its ports like so, um, we'll have Nginx handle all outside traffic and then it can route it to our Express server. So because we're going to set it up that way, we no longer need to actually open up the ports for our uh, Express server in our Docker Compose file, so we can actually just remove that. And we're going to ha uh, create a new service called Nginx at the bottom here. And this is going to handle outside traffic now. And I'm going to come over here to Nginx documentation. And we're going to just come down here. And it has a nice uh, default for Docker Compose, what they recommend. So we're just going to copy that and use that. And I'm just going to tab it over real quick. Okay, so what is this doing? So first off, we are grabbing the Nginx image, and then we're setting up a volume. Um, we're creating a MySite template on our computer, so let's create that. MySite.template, and you can call this something different if you like, but I'm just going to follow them. And uh, they're setting up this volume, so it's going to be there on the container. And then they're opening up a port we're going to open ours up to 8081 because that's what our client rec or our react server or react client uh, is making requests to and we don't have to worry about any environment variables but you can use them if you like and then here they're using this m subset so they can use environment variables but you'll notice they're really just uh, taking this um, my site template and setting it as the default configuration for nginx and then they're starting up nginx that's what the command that's getting run. So now we have Nginx running and we can connect to it at port 8081. By default, it's already listening on 80 in the container, so we're good. And then we just need to set up our configuration file for uh, Nginx and we're all set. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna do setting up a simple proxy server and beginner guide. And we're just gonna copy this setup. So right here, we're just going to route all traffic to uh, our Express server. We're not going to worry about this right now. And for us, this is going to be called web because we have this guy right here called web. Um, so you want to make sure that matches up instead of localhost and make sure you change this to 8081 or whatever port your uh, Express server is running on. So for me, it's 8081. And then because we want to connect to web, we need to make sure we set up a network. Um, so connect it to the webnet network. And I'm just going to go ahead and set up depends on. That way the uh, containers start up in the right order. So this is going to depend on web. And I'm going to just go ahead up here and say uh, web depends on the database and Redis. And the reason to add depends on is it just changes uh, make sure that database and Redis start up first, then the web container starts up, and then the Nginx uh, container starts up last um, because they need each other to work. So now that we're running on the same network, we can access the Express server, and then we can route all traffic to it. So that's it. That's It's very easy and fast to set up. Let's see this in action now. I'm just going to come over here and run docker compose up. And everything will boot up and then as soon as our server is running and engine X is up we can make a request and see if it goes through correctly we're still reconnecting looks like our database is taking a little bit longer to set up but sure enough we reconnect and now I can come over here have my app I'm on just the All right, just on the home page where we load our users, and we can see it does load in, so it is working. And we can come on over here, and I can see who is connected. So I can see someone has made a post request to GraphQL, and you can see this is coming from Nginx log. And you can see um, some information about my computer and whatnot. So that's it. That's how easy and fast it is to set up Nginx, and now we have it um, proxying in front of our Express server. And we can go ahead and change this template to however we like. You can add more configurations in here, um, but this is just a real basic one. And then as you have, we could route this, right? If we were setting up a microservice setup, 
we could have multiple websites and route different um, traffic to different ones. But that's it for this video, guys, and thank you for.